<clears throat> Whack um, Big U said, "F your apology, Whack 100. I'm not accepting your apology." Whack 100 said, "I never apologized to you. Come on, man. We supposed to be brothers. This is what I understand. We supposed to be brothers." Two successful men making money that's black that have a lot of influence throughout Los Angeles. Y'all deciding that it comes to this, that y'all gonna see each other, it is what it is, and all that. Man, come on now. Like maybe y'all doing it for the gram. Maybe y'all doing it because it seems like everybody's just doing everything for the gram now. Niggas is creating content, creating violence, creating beefs, sitting at home, creating gangsters. Niggas is too. Niggas is creating their own self at the house. Niggas are creating their own self at the house. So the OGs are looking at this like, hey, why don't I reinvent myself? Because people don't know about my history from far back. Only a few people know about my history. So maybe I can recreate myself. And you got a lot of these OGs now saying they were cool. were cool back then. But now they're super duper OGs. Super duper Gs. You did something back in 1985. You did something back in 1993. And I'm supposed to sit here and respect what happened back in 1993. Super duper, ooper, ooper, OGs. This is the case that we have right here with WAC 100 and Big U. You know, I'm not saying that they won't put in work now, but it's like, okay, enough is enough. You you should be moved past that and should be able to reconcile differences. Whack 100, you just get into it with Jay Prince. Like I said before, you all too old to be doing this type of, of stuff when you're supposed to be helping out the youth and you're supposed to be, t t t t t um, you know, showing the youth there's a better way of doing things. You know what I mean? And it's like, okay, then you look at, they ain't the only old people. You got Mob James against KVD, you know, Reggie White versus everybody. You know, uh, you know, WAC 100 basically beefing with old niggas, young niggas, girls. He beefing with everybody. You got, it. you know what I'm saying? It's like, dang. You know, then when you see young niggas, it's like, okay, y'all want to get on the young niggas about they beef, but it's like, they only doing what they see y'all doing. Y'all chasing clout, they trying to chase clout too. Y'all all in the motherfucking clouds chasing clout. Everybody's in the motherfucking clouds chasing motherfucking clout right now. Everybody's in the motherfucking clouds. You don't know what's real. All I know is one thing is real. And this is the realest right here. You, you know, Time is passing you by. Y'all niggas is old, cuz. Time is passing you by. Old means that y'all ain't can act guard for a few hours. Then you know it's time for you to go home and, and take some pills. Then you know it's time. Then your body starts aching. The ribs start hurting. Legs start hurting. All types of undisclosed injuries as an old person. You only can play hard for a few hours till your joints start to um, shift up and they start to hurt. And then now it's time to go to sleep. Y'all only can play hard for a few hours. It's time to let it go, man, and be the bigger man about things. Because y'all got all types of shit. Y'all got all types of diseases and bone marrow shit and, and, and motherfucking diabetes and everything. Y'all need to stop all this fake shit acting like y'all still out here bone crushing niggas. Stop it. You get hit by a young nigga, it's gonna hurt, nigga. You get hit by a young nigga, you gonna be feeling that you squall with a young nigga to tussle with a young nigga, you gonna be at home the next day. Icing yourself. So y'all need to stop with this bullshit, tough shit, man.